Hello, my name is Charles Chappell and I'm Head of Bioinformatics at Varsum. You are probably familiar with Varsum, but what you may not be aware of is that users of our Varsum Premium Paid Service can also annotate and classify somatic variants, and we will classify these using our automatic AMP classifier. And here's how it works. So, first of all, you would go to varsum.com, just as you would normally. You would enter your variant and simply choose somatic instead of germline when you search. Now this brings up this extra optional sample information window, and as the title says, this is completely optional. But the more detail you give us, the better and more accurate annotations we can give you, because a lot of the AMP rules depend on the sort of information you can enter here. So I will select skin as tissue type, and I will select melanoma as the cancer type. We can give an age of say 67 years old, an ethnicity of Finnish, and a sex of female. Now, when you search, you will see all of the normal information we have in, in Varsum, but now you will have these additional AMP relevant and somatic, let's say, modules included. So, first of all, what we have is the AMP classification, and this is the final verdict we have given for this variant. In this case, we have placed it in tier one. That is the most uh, clinically relevant category of variant. Now, as you go down, what you start seeing is we give you a breakdown of why every rule that was applied was applied, so the reason why we applied this rule. And we want to always explain it and explain it in a way that is clear and understandable. We don't have any uh, black boxes here. Everything we do and every choice we make is clearly explained. Now, if you have selected this option here to show full detail, you also see the rules that were not applied and why they were not applied, so you can also understand why we made negative choices. Now, if for whatever reason you disagree with one of the annotations, one of the choices we have made, you can change it. And when you do, you'll see here that the verdict is tier 1, but if I were to, to lower the importance, it can go down to tier 2 or even, even lower. So if you don't agree with us, you still can change it and see how the verdict would, would, would change based on the AMP criteria. The next section I want to show you here is what we call cancer curated, and these are curated databases that have information about this particular variant and the various tumor types it has been found in. And in each case, we'll give you, so different databases have different information. So here we're looking at PMKB, and here we can give you the tier it was placed in for this particular cancer, in this particular tissue, the interpretation given, and the PubMed references, the, the published papers supporting these findings. And as you scroll down, you'll see more databases, and each of them has a different type of information, but they all have some sort of information about the variant and its pathogenicity in different uh, cancer types. Then, further down, what we have here is the cancer samples, and here we have information from databases that store real patient samples and clinical information about these patients. And here you can see how often your your sample matches those that are in, in these other databases. So here, for example, we, we chose female for this uh, example variant, and there are 56% of the samples in the, in the databases that are in female. And first we have a summary of all of the databases, and then again we have separate section for each of them showing whatever information we can harvest from each of these databases. And in all cases, when, the, when there is a match, we will highlight it, and you can see immediately, visually, very easily, that your sample matches something that is known in the public database. So this is our AMP module, and I would encourage you to go on to, to varsum.com and try it out. And if you have any questions or would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at varsum.com. Thank you.